you're interested in the Legends Ultimate, the Bit LCD, or the Quad Play, this week is the week to get it. Get up to 50% off on awesome Akeem Legends products. See the link below. What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and I got an awesome upgrade for the Legends Ultimate. It is the Legends Quad Play. Let's go check it out. I'm gonna show you how to install it. And this is it. And I'm gonna show you what four player games, or three player games, are best to play on the Legends Quad Play control panel. So it comes with the manual right here. Now this does have built-in Bluetooth and a built-in battery pack. If you want to connect it to your Core Max or Legends Ultimate, you can do that. It is 13 and a half inches, four inches. The length is 43 inches. So player one is actually right here in the middle. And this is player one start button. Player two is right here on the right side in the middle. So you got six buttons for player one and six buttons for player two. Player three is actually on the outside. You got four buttons and this is start for player three. Some games you have to just press start to start the game and some games you have to hold down and press start. Also on player four, you might have to press start and down on the joystick to start a game. Power button. Looks like there's some battery. Yep, there's battery. But we're not going to use the battery pack. We're going to use a direct connection to the Legends Ultimate version 1.1. Now this does not fit on the version 1.0, unfortunately. Also, you can install a trackball, or you can swap your trackball from your old control deck to this control deck. You're going to need a long screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, to remove these screws. So you want to press down on the feet and feel where the hole is and then just lift up on that one side. You don't have to take the feet off. So this should come off. There we go. And let's go ahead and uh, get the other track ball. So the short screws are on the sides. And you got this long screw. So you got a couple plugs right here, that's one, that powers off everything. And then this is the USB, this is the data cable, and that's for the controls to the game board. And then this is the power. There you go. And yeah, you gotta be careful. There's a couple cables right here and here. Now you don't have to remove these cables because we're just removing the trackball. And there's four screws for the trackball. Some smaller screws too as well. You wanna hold it from underneath. There you go, the ball comes out just like that. And this goes on top of the control panel. Now this thing should lift out. Now remember, the connection is facing toward the back side where the connections are for the control deck. There we go. We're gonna put that ball in. Just like that, and just like that. And remember the connection? The connection is facing toward the other connections right here. Now the screws that I transferred over from my Legends Ultimate control deck 
on the sides right here, they're actually too small for these um, lock nuts. So I found some bolts, luckily, with my home theater mounting plate. This was in the Legends Ultimate version 1.1 for the trackball. And these are the ones that you need a little bit bigger. And the silver connections right here goes face down. Plug in the white plug, that's for the power button, USB plug for the controls, and the power, of course. And this slides in, power's on. Go ahead and put the long screw in. So this is the Legends Ultimate Quad Play Control Deck. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so player one, just hit A to start. Let's see if we can add the other guys. So that's jump, that's shoot, and that's it. Player three, A to join, there we go. And player two, that's your coin button. And to add him, hit A. And player four, and press A to add him. So we got four players. Oh cool, we have special abilities. If you press A and B together, world class bowling deluxe. Let's lower the speed on the trackball. Trackball is working great. Oh, that's the worst case scenario. Ha! Huh. Too sensitive. So this is what it looks like with four players playing at one time. We all fit in perfectly thanks to the design of the quad play. Now using the CoinOps USB drive that I have plugged in, I created a favorites list and these are some of my favorite games. Some are three player, some are four player, some are two player. If you see a black oval under the title, that lets you know that's either three or four player games. Arabian Fight. That's a great four player game.
The Bit LCD is also a great upgrade. I made a separate video about that. Bomberman is a fantastic four player game as well. Another fantastic four player game, Captain America and the Avengers. A very underrated two-player game is Dead Connection. The Bit LCD and the Legends Quad Play are my top two favorite upgrades for the Legends Ultimate. Now these devices are only compatible for the Legends Ultimate 1.1. Unfortunately, 1.0 is not compatible. I like the design of the quad play. I like that it's spaced out enough to play four players, but at the same time, it's still slim and sleek. And I like that they included the ability to upgrade to a trackball. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're interested in this Legends Ultimate and upgrades, subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos.